What's happening, guys? We were down at my pro in for their new rebrand event today. There's going to be some amazing people here today. We're about to go inside, get stuck in, and hopefully jump in an ice bath. Oh! Branding is looking uh, very good, much cooler, much more professional. All the labels and stuff look so much cooler as well, so wait till you see it. Yeah. Oh, 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 Butterfly is my jam, and I can butterfly. Butterflies are swimming. Like 18 strict. Swimming stroke. Yeah. How's it going? I learned that from Ross Esley, boy. Hey. Yeah, butterfly is all about momentum using your hips, so you don't have to use too much of your biceps. But so it's basically a cheating pull up. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, use your hips to generate the power. Hold my beer. Bend your legs. <laughs> what, what? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. How long has he done? Hold it, mate! Hold it! <laughs> we are joined by Jacques George, the fittest man in the UK and a superstar of the new Gladiator series. Kind of what I'm wanting to ask you, Zach, is like, what is your thing that kind of gets you through the day? Obviously, you're just a father now as well, which is amazing. But is there anything that is your kind of non-negotiable on a daily basis? I've sort of done this since I was probably 14, 15. Um, I've always had a, a goals board that I'd write uh, every single year. And that goals board, I will read to myself every morning and every evening. So the goals board have a three month goal, six month goal, and then a year end goal. And every morning I'll wake up, I'll look at that board, I'll slowly go through the points that I want to achieve. I'll vision myself achieving those, and I'll do that for every goal on the goals board. They roughly have around sort of eight to 10 goals each year. And that's something I've done every day since I was about 14, 15. Wow. And it's gone pretty well, obviously. It's gone pretty well, but it's, it's quite funny because when I first got into CrossFit in 2014, I had a goal that I wanted to achieve and it was to get to CrossFit Games. And naively, and what a lot of people do, they start CrossFit and think they're getting to, gonna get to the Games within a year. Um, so I put on my goals board, within one year, qualified for the CrossFit Games. And it was seven years later that I actually achieved that goal. Just because you don't hit that goal within that time frame doesn't mean you just, you just stop or you give up. Like that goal took me seven years and originally it was a year goal. Wow. So I just kept every day, kept visualizing, kept imagining myself qualifying at the games and then just kept plugging away year after year and then eventually achieved it. So I could have easily have, oh, I've not achieved that in a year, then I'm just gonna move on to something else. Just get being persistent with it and everyday visualization and then working hard, training four hours a day and then we finally achieved it seven years later. Wow, that's awesome, man. That's a, I'll just one more quick one as well. So you're a father now as well. Yeah, to little Ivy. Um, has that changed well, your your goal, your boards, your your visions? Has that changed since you become a father? Yeah, massively. It just kind of it changes the way you live. Um, I think before you have a child, you're you live quite selfishly because you've only got you or your partner. You've got to really think about. Now you've got to bring up this this child, 
and you just want to give them the best life you possibly can. Mm -hmm. So now I'm not only working towards my own goals, I'm working towards giving Ivy the best life she could possibly have. And that's more motivation than I've ever had and that I'll ever need. I thought I was a very motivated person and then you have a child and that motivation just, goes, just skyrockets. Um, so it's brought a whole new level, a whole new dimension of, of mindset and motivation that I didn't know I had. Just like that. Hold it up, wait, ready? Three, two, one, go. Whee! One more attempt, right? Ah, oh, 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 hurt. Cold water, ice bath, cold water immersion, cold water therapy, whatever you want to call it, is a huge part of people's lives now. And I think for them to include it in this event that we're here doing, I think it's, it's a huge thing. It's a, it's a huge step in the right direction because not only are my protein wanting to do supplements, recovery drinks, snacks, whatever it is, they're trying to be fully inclusive and this for me is one of the best ways of looking after ourselves mentally. Uh, I think it's the pinnacle of uh, looking after your mental health. I had an unfair advantage in terms of experience as two rather large gentlemen over there might as well. But I was up with Luke at Shandwick Beach a few weeks ago. My Angus has been peppered prior to this. Between you and I, there probably should have been more ice in there, I reckon. If the big boys were dipping in, it wouldn't be up to standard. There'll be some crossfitters, some athletes that have done this before, but they're kind of influencer people. I don't think they've ever done it. And uh, it's nice to see them kind of suffer, but then after a minute, they're like, they're relaxing and getting used to it also. I was really worried when I first got in and then I did start to chill after like two minutes and I'm like really proud of myself for like doing it so I feel good. <laughs> I liked it. I think I think the cold water is always nice after I mean we did four pretty heavy challenges, so having some some coldness really uh, sort of ease the pain of of the workout is always nice. How are you feeling? It's alright, I got it. I'm baptizing you, it's okay. It's there we go. Get under more, so. Get under. Push his head under. The smallest coat power I've been in. It's uh, not quite the same as uh, the sunrise swims, but it was really nice. Thanks to my protein for letting me get cold. Amazing. We have the privilege of Miss Lucy Davis being here. Is it still Davis? No. No, it's Halden. Halden. Lucy Halden, recently married, but my stage name is still Lucy Davis. Oh, stage but name. Okay, well. Got a stage name now, guys. Amazing. What can I say? Congratulations. <laughs> as an amazing athlete, how do you stay so motivated in what you do? You're, from what I see, you look incredible year in, year out, just keep smashing it. So, what is your secret? Do you have like a mindset thing that you do? Or what? Yeah, so definitely one of the things I'm really proactive with mental health. I think it's really important because you can look after your physical body, you can run hundreds of miles, you can lift heavy weight, but if my mental health isn't feeling top tip, I don't feel good in myself and I get badly affected. I get the physical effects of like anxiety and worry as well. One of the biggest things for me from a mental health perspective is reading. I find reading, I read every single morning, it's part of my morning routine. Doesn't matter how long it is, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 20 minutes. Books where I learn about different things, um, where it's like humanity or business or mindset, I really enjoyed those sort of books. So that's like heavily a mindset thing. And then I always have to book some sort of like competition right. or not to win, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but stuff that I don't usually do. So I signed up for 100K, I then signed up for a powerlifting competition. I've got Everest Base Camp, like stuff that I don't do but that is challenging. Jeez, okay. That's that keeps me wow. like fighting fit. That's amazing. That's so cool. And what about now that you're a wife, mm. which obviously doesn't define you as a person, 
but has your goals changed? I think we're lucky because me and Ben work together mm. and the drive's almost like even more because we want to try for kids next year. Oh. So I think that's in my head, like right. when I have a, a baby, fingers crossed, hopefully, yeah. um, I think that it will it will be a purpose for me to show like being a strong woman for my kids. Yes. Because yes. I think strong women, women empowerment is obviously something I'm really big on. So I think the marriage thing, yeah, but then also thinking when we have a kid, I want to I want to be that support for them. Oh man, it's going to be that's going to be a new challenge. Yeah. Are you as well? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. I'm <laughs> yeah, still yeah. very nervous about oh, it's it. It's exciting. It's really yeah, exciting. Exciting. But thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you. It's awesome to see you guys. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you for being on our channel. Always. Yeah, it's so cool. It's a cool. pleasure. And uh, yeah, amazing my promoting event. Yeah, really, really good to be there. Yeah, amazing. Awesome. Oh, he's so strong. Right, thank you, my protein. That is another. Let's go. Big thank you to my protein for having us down at this uh, oh, rebranding. Oh my god. That's another amazing event at my protein done. Big thank you for having us and we're gonna go home, we're gonna recover, and we're gonna stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. <laughs> Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.